but just in case, I'll go through it now. You want to make sure that in your print area, your 24 by 36 sheet of paper, you want to make sure that you don't have any drawings hanging over the border here. So if you do, this section's too long, bring the section in, and now it's not over the border. This is the border, like this is the main border, right? So make sure your drawing's properly situated. Right now I don't care what the drawing looks like. So I have my drawing set up and I go to Control P. That brings up the print screen. I could also go to File, Print, Print, right? So I'm printing to Adobe PDF or whatever works for you. This is probably what I'm gonna use. Current window means that I'm printing just this sheet, right? Just this current window that I'm on. Visible portion of current window means that if I just want to look and I'm, I'm working really fast and I just want to print this section, then I'm going to click visible portion of current window. That's probably just going to print what's in this box. But I want the whole window. So I'm going to do control print current window. We're going to leave this combined multiple views into a single sheet. You don't have to necessarily change this. You could just leave it where it is. It's going to ask you to save it in a location anyway, so don't worry about that. So you're going to go to setup at the bottom right here, and it's going to give you the paper size. It doesn't already know that you want 24 by 36. You have to tell it. Paper size. Anybody know what arc that is? It's D. 24 by 36 is arc D. A lot of times it won't say or it won't label the actual numbers, so it's arc D. I want the paper placement in the center because I'm printing it at zoom 100%. I don't want to fit it because if I don't change the paper size and I fit to the page, I'm going to think my paper might be a different size or my paper might be a different size and it's going to fit to the paper, so it might not actually be even the right proportions. So I want center, zoom 100%. Landscape is fine because that's how we're printing it. Then there's uh, lines using vector or raster. A vector line means that the line is something that has information. When you print it to a PDF using a vector line, other programs can read those lines and actually edit them. So like if you use an Adobe Illustrator, you could actually pick those lines up, change the line weights, you could do a bunch of stuff. If you use a rasterized processing, which is the second option, it's like basically making a JPEG or um, it's basically making a flat image file. You cannot manipulate the file after the fact as easily or basically almost like you're making a virtual print of it. So I usually just leave it on vector because why not, but cool. Um, the second option is your raster quality. You can leave it on high. Presentation is fine too. It won't really affect the drawing too much. You can leave the colors on, that's fine. What I always personally pick is, or check is hide unreferenced view tags. What that means is it won't print. I can't see. I'm not gonna check that off right now. I'll just show you an example. So I press okay. And then I'll do preview because I wanna see what it's gonna look like. So I didn't check unhide reference view tags, which means these elevation markers are not on a sheet in my project. That's why there's no information inside the tags. So if I go back and I check on hide unreferenced view tags, now those elevations, which are not on any drawing, get hidden when I print. And it's only going to show a tag that's been tagged, unless I personally go in there and hide the tags. Personally, I would go in here and hide the tags in this room because they're too small to really delineate anything. But now it's perfectly fit on the sheet. Nothing's overhanging. If this drawing isn't centered on the sheet, it's 
going to look weird, right? You want it centered on the sheet. Sometimes it'll pull the drawing in different directions. So always make sure that it's inside of this. If I wanted to print, uh, just for an example, you press OK when you're done. And if you had Adobe, it would just ask you where to save it and you press OK. Does it do it with Microsoft? Probably not, because it's not going to have the right paper size. If you wanted to print multiple files, right? If you wanted to print all these sheets, I can go to select views and sheets under the print range. When you do that, it automatically changes it to create separate files. You want to click back to multiple selected files to combine the PDF. Otherwise, you'll get each drawing as a separate PDF. You want to combine those. So you have to go to selected views and sheets and select the views and sheets that you want. There's a filter here. You can shut off 3D views. You can shut off 2D views. You just want to focus on sheets. If you know that you didn't put anything on some of these sheets, you can just select the ones that you know you want to print now. So if A8 has nothing on it, and I know that A8 has nothing on it because there's no plus sign here, if there was a plus sign, that means there's drawings on it. So A8 doesn't get printed. A9 doesn't get printed. A5, there's something on there. I could preview it, which is cool because I've never seen this. And this is new to 2023, 20, which is awesome. Um, oh, you could edit the print order. That's cool, too, if you want it in a separate order. But those are what you're selecting. And then you press OK, and it'll just ask you for one file location, and it'll make the PDF for you. I also made um, this tutorial of how to print. Should work. If there's any issues, let me know. Um, but that's how to print the files. And then hopefully, I can find this recording somewhere.